Well, you guys got another video here for you. Just a quick one on Microsoft have released a Windows update as part of the Patch Tuesday to finally fix the Print Nightmare vulnerability. This has been going on for some time. Uh, the vulnerability has plagued Microsoft that they had to try and find a way to resolve this issue. There was some concerns that there wouldn't be any sort of fix for the foreseeable future. But finally, there is a patch that you can download and fix so it's important that you download the latest windows updates uh, for your machine now i'm on a windows 11 machine here but if you're on windows 10 uh, it's important that you get these security updates because they do patch the uh, print nightmare uh, issue that has been going on for some time so once you've got these updates installed you'll be able to use the windows print spoiler again and be able to turn it all back on so whether you've disabled it inside the services or whether you've disabled it inside your group policy or in the registry you can reverse those uh, tweaks and then basically get back to a normal uh, printing cycle so let's take a look at some of the release information that microsoft have uh, given us so the two files that uh, microsoft have released is the kb500 5033 and kb500 5031 there's two different files for two different versions of Windows 10. And when you download these, uh, this will patch your system. These will come down uh, through the Windows updates area. So just click on the Windows updates and update your Windows system. Now, if you want to download these manually, you can get them from the Microsoft catalog. I'll show you that in a second. But basically, these two versions are for 1909 and 2004 onwards, they've released that uh, secondary patch for that as well. And I'll show you those. So basically, if you wanna read this information, I'll leave all the information in the video description. You can read this at your own leisure about uh, the issues that they've had and the way they've uh, fixed them and what was causing the problem. Uh, there was people online that actually brought this to the attention of Microsoft. Uh, Benjamin was one of them. He actually released some information on his Twitter to say that now it has been patched, that it is uh, fixed. But he also mentioned in his previous post before that, that when they did patch it last time, it wasn't fixed and it was still broken. So it has safely been patched now, so you can safely uh, turn on Prince Baller. So you can see here, these are the versions. You can read all about it if you wish, if that interests you. If not, then just update your Windows 10 system. Now, there's been some concerning issues around this Prince Baller issue, which is the print nightmare. I mean, you have to ask yourself the question, why were drivers allowed to be installed by anyone but the administrator in the first place, which is a pretty bad security flaw. And again, uh, now it has been patched. You can see here uh, the principle of remote code execution vulnerability. You can, as I've said, download these from the Microsoft Update Catalog if you wish, but basically go to your Windows updates and download them from there. But if you're one of these people that like to do it manually, you can download them from here. If you have your Windows updates uh, disabled, uh, then you can download them manually and install them if you wish to do it that way as well. Anyway, I think that is just going to be about it for the Print Nightmare Saga. So if you want to make sure that your service is running, go to Services here and just make sure the Print Spooler is turned on and running if you have disabled it. Just make sure you turn that back on. And if you've made any other changes in the registry or in your uh, group policy editor, just reverse those and you should be pretty much good to go. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick update video because I get asked all the time, is it safe to use my printer? Is it safe to turn Printspooler back on? And all these other questions. It's safe to use the printer. It's safe to use uh, the Printspooler and have that on because it's now been fully patched by Microsoft. It's finally been done. Anyway, just want to say a big thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I do appreciate that support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day. Bye for now.